Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about maintain opening balance. Let's go to SQL. I only talk about maintain opening balance after so many tutorial video and not at the beginning is because you need to know how to enter customer, supplier and also the bank side. So let's go to GL on top. Maintain opening balance. In maintain opening balance, this is all the account in your accounting system and you can key in the debit side or credit side accordingly. Just click on the account. The only two things I want you to remember is the first thing is cash at bank. Cash at bank, many people will look at their bank statement then directly key in the opening. Okay. The opening, the first thing that you need to know is as at tools option, general ledger, as at your system conversion date. Meaning that let's say you over here you put in 2017, this opening is as at 1st of January 2017, even though only now you key in at 2018. So please take note, it's according to your system conversion date. Okay, the second thing is Normal people will just look at the bank balance, then key in over here for the bank. It is wrong. The opening for bank is actually follow your GL opening for bank, meaning that it's include balance at bank plus unpresented check and uncredited check, meaning that the payment you have made but it's not clear under the bank record, the payment that you receive but have not clear under the bank record, and also the actual bank balance. So you can add, of course, debit side. The second thing that I want you to remember is for trade customer, that means your customer and your supplier, the trade debtors, your, sorry, the trade debtors, your customer and trade creditors, your supplier, you do not key over here. You do not key over here. So what you need to do is you need to go back to customer invoice or supplier invoice. I show you. So new normally you have stock. So you normally will key under sales invoice. But for opening, you just need to key under customer invoice. You do not key under sales invoice. I show you why later. Let's say it and if you still remember the system conversion date is 1st of January 2017. That means your opening, the outstanding that brought forward is from 2016. Example, there's one transaction that is still outstanding as at 1st of January 2017. The date is this. What is the invoice number? It become a past invoice. So you just key in the total value. And remember, this value is not the total value of the invoice, but the total outstanding of the invoice. Example, the original invoice amount is 1000, a customer already paid you 200, the outstanding is 800, or here you key 800 and not 1000. Unless the 1000 customer have not paid you anything and the whole amount 1000 become the opening. So, Pass invoice, I save, then this pass invoice will actually go to here. So that's why you do not key in in maintain opening balance for trade debtors and trade creditors, but you key in under supplier invoice or customer invoice. But if you wrongly key under sales invoice, which is the other customer, and the date we put 2016. This is for price history records purpose only. So whatever you key in, excuse me. So 103. Normally, it will post to invoice, right? 
but this round it won't because it's a for price history reference only. So you do it over there, you need to manually do again over here for opening. Same apply to supplier side. So this is how you maintain opening balance in SQL accounting system. But for stock, for stock, for opening, normally you key at maintain stock item, the opening balance over here, which I already teach you during the maintain stock item tutorial video. So again, this is how you do maintain opening balance. Thank you for watching. And once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.